over the top here all right this is gonna be my second attempt at making this video i ran out of memory on my phone so i had to restart i had to delete some other videos i had made and posted so this is video is gonna be about my altoids can my emergency altoids can a little kit that i have that is i'm gonna try and make it my everyday carry um well i don't know we'll see uh, most likely i'll just keep it in my uh, emergency um tactical vest or in my hiking backpack if i ever get to go hiking since i you know have a back injury that i'm trying to fix right now so um, i'm gonna go ahead and start off to the left and show you what i got in there inside i got some little berkeley gulp earthworms that I put in some uh, masking tape and sealed it up on the side with some scotch tape so that it doesn't leak out because it's moist there's liquid in here so it doesn't that way my worm doesn't dry out because once it dries out it becomes brittle and it breaks so you won't be able to put it onto your uh, fishing hook it's just going to crack all over the place it's going to be worthless so I went ahead and put these in here I got a total of, of three worms I also have six fishing hooks here some fishing line this isn't the best fishing line um, I'm not sure what the strength is on this there might be 10 pounds maybe 8 I'm gonna go ahead and uh, replace this with braided and for now this is just a temporary in case something does happen I, at least it's there so I'm gonna put braided line in here later on um, 20 pound line um, 30 feet at the minimum um, I'm going to try and put a little bit more, maybe 50 if I could get it in there, just depending on how much space I have left over because I do plan on putting a wallet sized, uh, a wallet magnifying glass in here, which is really thin. It's like a card, credit card, and a um, keychain LED light. Um, I bought this on Amazon. It was like 79 cents, so I picked up four of them, and this will all will fit in here even with everything that I got laid out uh, I have some of these weights here fishing weights some little smaller hooks because sometimes uh, you see a lot of the smaller fish biting so you want something something small because these bigger hooks the smaller fish won't go for if you can't catch any big fish then with any luck you'll catch something small and at least be able to eat some of that well, fish have a lot of protein in it so that should keep you going for a little while got a ziploc bag in there in case i gotta cross a river or get into some water i could go ahead and keep my uh, altoids can in here we got a windproof match i only got one if i feel i need another i could go ahead and put more in there i got some waterproof matches uh, match booklet match book I wanted this in there because there's a lot of them it doesn't take up too much space in here I could keep a lighter but I don't think a lighter is gonna fit um, with everything else I have in there everything in there right now fits just nicely and with the with the um, mini keychain light and the wallet a magnifying glass everything will fit perfect so the little lighter is not gonna work Plus these here, you could actually, when you break these off, you can tear the stick in half and make two of them. So that doubles this up. Cotton balls. Uh, cardboard match striker. The, the match book or the box that these windproof matches came in had two of these in it. So I went ahead and took one out and put it in here and sealed it up in this little Ziploc bag. Um, this is char cloth here. Uh, I had char cloth in there. It'll be useful with the magnifying glass that I'm going to put in here. This is just another backup. I wanted more than just two ways or one way of starting a fire. Little uh, some wire here, copper wiring um, that I, I could use for snares or something else if needed. I got some paracord here. It's about two feet, two and a half feet long. It's decent size. Um, as you can see, there's, there's uh, the strands that are in here. If I needed to make something, I go ahead and pull these out, and I still have the outer part that holds the strands. 
so that's good there. Um, a mirror signaling mirror. Um, this wasn't just going to be just for an emergency bug out situation or emergency thing. Like I said, um, I'm going to keep this in a hiking bag at times or maybe even try and use it as a EDC. So in case I ever need to signal somebody, I have this in there. I bought this at Joanne's, um, like an arts and crafts place. It was like, I believe it was four mirrors for 99 cents. So that wasn't too bad. So I picked these up. So it's a decent size as you can see, and it fits nicely just flat on the bottom. I didn't want to glue it onto the inside of this Altoids can onto the bottom or onto the inside or the back because if I ever needed to boil water, I could put water in here and then put this on the fire and boil water then let it cool off. So I didn't want to, you know, have the trouble of taking my mirror off of my Altoids can and then having glue on the inside or on the back so I just I thought I'd just you know put it down in there so I don't want to glue it on a these dental floss sticks I get headaches at times and even if I put medicine in here Advil or what I whatever I use um, that doesn't always take my headache away my teeth or my one of the sides of my gums gets really sensitive and the only way to fix that is with this so I put that in there little tea bag um, in case I wanted to make some tea I could go ahead and put it in here then pour this into my Ziploc bag and have a little bit of tea um, it's like a luxury item there um, also keep some sh just one packet of sugar so this is sweetener <laughs> um, some salt in case I catch fish. I want some flavor with my fish. I have some four salt packets. A razor blade for cutting the fishing line and also uh, filleting my fish. This will work perfectly. I'm thinking about getting a. They have that uh, the other razor blade that has like the edges on the side, so I, I might switch this out. The other one seems a little stronger, sturdier, so I might switch that out. A safety pin, a can opener, I believe this is the P95 can opener, the smaller one. This thing works really great, I've tested it out and it works fine. I think it was like, I think I paid a dollar for five of them or something like that. I think it was on eBay or Amazon, one of those. These alcohol swabs, I wouldn't really call them a swab, it's more like a little patch of some sort uh, I got four of those some band-aids rubber band and three nails I could always use nails um, sometimes I'm looking for a stick around on the floor to stick into something you know whether it's into the ground or into a tree or into a crack or something so I could hang something or put something on and I never could find a nail so I'm looking for a piece of wood and it just doesn't work. The wood's not really thick enough or strong enough. So the nails come in handy. So, um, and believe it or not, all that fits inside here. And like I said, there's even room still for the magnifying glass and the keychain LED light. So there you go. Oh, and I explained on another video that not to just keep those jig heads or those plastic um, non-scented baits in here this one is actually scented and this is good for catfish or even carp even bass will take this it gives off the smell so just I mean if you're gonna use some of the other like the uh, plastic fish or plastic worms keep in mind it's just the same as just throwing a freaking rubber band into the water and hoping you're gonna catch a catch a fish that's not always gonna work I explained that in another video I made the other day so try and keep some scented bait in there if you can all right over the top here I'm out hope this video helps out with somebody else who's making a uh, Altoids can